All these cars and trucks have one thing in common, tires. Not all tires are created equal. Some are large, others very small. But again, they all have one thing in common, they wear out. It's estimated that across the United States, we have over 180 million worn out tires filling up our landfills. So something had to be done about that. The question is what? One solution is recycling old worn out tires into something useful. There are over 300 million tires disposed every year. In America, we dispose of our tires mostly through landfills. They ended up either in the landfills, never, dis uh, never decomposing, or they go into uh, illegal, illegal dump yards where they pile hundreds of feet high. Uh, tires pose many environmental problems. Uh, one from uh, fires, when tires catch on fire, they will never burn out, so you have to let, out, let, the, fire, let the tires burn, and obviously they have the, uh, the smoke, they have all the oils that they leave behind, and it's a hazard for all of, all of us. Uh, tires also never biodegrade, so in the landfills it becomes a wasted resource. What re-rubber is here for is to save that problem. Our waste stream is already overloaded, what we want to do is to take out the waste, recover the waste as much as possible. Re-rubber is able to recover 100% of the tire. Turning old tires into a new track or a football field is the goal, but how does it work? Tires are made of 70% rubber, 20% steel, and 10% fiber. And the goal of our process is to separate all of these materials from each other. The first step is to unload the tires out of the truck inspect them, and then we take them to our D-beater. A D-beater is a process that we use to take um, the steel bead out of the tire. We pull it out of the tire, and that's the steel bead that is around the sidewall of each tire. That's really important because you wouldn't want to be running around the field and get part of a steel belted radial stuck in your foot. The next step is to take our whole tire and set it into our shredder. Our shredder takes the whole tire and it shreds it into rock salt size rubber. The steel separation for our tires is all magnet based. Once the tire gets shredded into different sizes, the steel is actually separated out of the rubber and then we use magnets to pull that out. After it's ground up into rock salt size, we send it into more uh, grinders. These grinders take the rock salt size pieces and they grind it into coffee bean sizes and then further on into coffee ground sizes. Before we can figure out how much material we need, we've got to have a project to use it on. So we're going to determine how many cubic feet of rubber it would take to resurface a football field. We need to answer three questions to make this formula work. First is the volume of the area we need to cover. Second, the weight of one cubic foot of recycled rubber. And third, the number of tires we need to chop up into little tiny pieces to reach that weight. The first part of our problem is volume, and here's what we're working with. A football field is 120 yards long, 100 yards from goal line to goal line, plus 10 yards for each end zone, so it's actually 120 yards long, and it's 53 and one third yards wide. Because this is a volume problem, we have to include the depth of the playing surface in the formula. Otherwise, we wouldn't have enough material to finish the job. Our playing surface is three inches deep, so we add one quarter foot to our formula. Okay, hold on. Why do we do that? Why do we convert three inches into one quarter foot? The answer is we need to be consistent within the formula. If we were working in a small space, we could use cubic inches, and everything would be converted into inches. We're working with a football field, so everything has to be converted into feet, and three inches is equal to one quarter foot. Here's how this works.
Now we know the volume of our football field is 14,400 cubic feet. So now the question becomes, how many of these old tires do we have to chop up into little tiny pieces to fill that 14,400 cubic foot hole? Our tire weighs 80 pounds in its current form, so how much of that is usable rubber? We know that approximately 70% of the tire's weight is rubber, so we multiply 80 times 0.7 and we get 56 pounds. We have 56 pounds of recycled rubber from our bus tire, but the football field is measured in cubic feet, not pounds. So we need to convert our pounds of rubber into cubic feet. The easy way to determine volume from weight is to find a one cubic foot container, fill it up with whatever material you have, and weigh it. One cubic foot of our recycled rubber weighs 50 pounds. Keep in mind that we got 56 pounds from our tire. That's going to be important later. Now we're going to figure out how many worn out school bus tires it takes to resurface a football field. Here's what we know. The volume of the field is 14,400 cubic feet. One cubic foot of rubber weighs 50 pounds. So we need 720,000 pounds of recycled rubber. Each tire contains 56 pounds of usable rubber. So we divide 720,000 by 56, and it turns out we need 12,858 worn out school bus tires to create our football field. It's important that we find a way to recycle as many products as we can, and turning old worn out tires into a football field seems like a great start. So once again, it's math to the rescue. <laughs>